Shortly after the gruesome murder of former police spokesperson Andrew Felix Kawesi in March 2017, the police arrested a number of suspects, many of them Muslims, and had them charged in court. Some of them have since been released after the High Court dismissed the cases against them due to lack of sufficient evidence. Some suspects were tortured in detention where they spent a number of months. Now, lawyers from Wema and Company Advocates are planning to sue the Director of Public Prosecutions, Justice Mike Chibita, and the former Inspector General of Police, General Kale Kaihura, accusing them of conniving to prosecute innocent people. The DPP is not above the law. We are going to bring private prosecution against him personally, and we don't, we don't think we shall need the office of the DPP to come up and say they are taking, they are taking up the prosecution because we have the capacity. And as far as we are concerned, we do not believe that the DPP, in his personal capacity, can be criminally prosecuted for decisions taken in the execution of his functions. That is the position that we take. But as I said, any other person that is of a contrary view, I think is free to hold that view. The lawyers also claim that the suspects were wrongfully and maliciously prosecuted. The lawyers accused the DPP of failing to direct police to conduct thorough investigations and instead sanctioned charges against people not connected to the offence. They also claim that the DPP acted outside the law by acting on the will of external parties and yet the office is supposed to act independently. However, the Directorate of Public Prosecution spokesperson Jane Kashuga says the lawyers seem to have misunderstood the role of the public prosecutor. Article 120 is clear that the office of the DPP directs the police investigations and only acts on police investigations. We are not privy to any investigations conducted by any other agency. She denies claims of acting maliciously in prosecuting the suspects.